Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor and today I am doing an updated Battle of the Domain Registrar videos. So today we're taking a look at seven different domain registrar companies to let you know which one is the best place to buy your domain name. Now really quick, before we get into the comparison, if you are new to buying domains, there's going to be a term I use throughout this video, and that is who is protection. Now if you don't know what who is protection is, this is basically a service that protects your personal information from being public to everybody out there. So there is something called a who is database. When you purchase a domain name, your name, address, and phone number, and email all go in this database. So anyone could go online to a who is database lookup, type in your domain name, and get your personal information. That's not good, nobody wants that. So Whois Protection is a service either free or provided at a cost by the domain company that protects your information. So instead of seeing your address and your name, they see like who is guard protected and some address of the who is guard agency in place of your address. So I just wanted to get that out there because you are going to hear me talk about this a lot. So I want to start with GoDaddy because GoDaddy is like the Walmart for domain names. Everyone knows about it and chances are if you don't know where to start, you're probably looking at GoDaddy. Now GoDaddy really gets on my nerves for a number of reasons. All right, so let's start off with pricing. GoDaddy is expensive. They charge $17.99 per year for a .com domain, which if you're new and you've never bought a domain before or you don't have much experience, you may think that's not a bad price. And I guess it isn't for what you're getting. $18 per year for a .com domain is not horrible, but in relation to the competitors, that is double the price of other options on this list. So GoDaddy is expensive, but okay, price doesn't matter so much if they offer good quality service. And they do, I guess. The panel is pretty easy to use and the customer service is good. I've called them a couple times and asked some questions and worked through some issues and the customer support people are friendly. GoDaddy, I'll give you that. However, that is basically where the positives to GoDaddy end. They push so hard to upsell you and sell you crap you don't need. Like when you add a domain to your cart, they put who is protection on for $10 a year. That's very expensive and pretty much every other company on this list gives you that for free. So now you're up to $28 a year for a domain name that doesn't spew your personal information out to the public. Oh, and don't forget to uncheck that box for starting a free trial for their website builder, because unless you want that, if you forget to uncheck it, you're likely going to be charged for that when their website builder trial expires. So they're already trying to sell you things you don't need and trick you into purchasing things that you don't even know you're purchasing, and I have a really hard time respecting a business who does this. Now GoDaddy does have an app, I think it's cool when domain companies offer an app, however, I I was not able to log in and try it because I did the create account using Facebook option when I purchased my domain name and when I downloaded the app, there's no option to sign in with Facebook. Now I'm sure if I contacted their support, they would probably help me out and get some way for me to log in, but I just did not want to waste any more time with GoDaddy. Like, ah, it's frustrating. Please save yourself from going with them. Their prices are expensive, they are deceptive with their upsell tactics, and there are just so many better options on this list to pick from. Let's talk about a great company, and that is Dynadot. Now, I'm a huge fan of Dynadot. I've seen them improve quite a bit over the past few years, and they're finally at a point where they are seriously competitive and tempting in the domain industry. Now, Dynadot charges $8.99 per year for a .com domain with free Whois protection. Yes, that's right, not $28 a year, $9 a year for everything, all of it, done. That's all you have to pay. Dynadot has a nice, clean website and a really attractive app where you can purchase domains and even manage your domain names. Auto Renew is off by default. Thank the Lord, that is awesome. So you don't have to worry about getting charged or forgetting to turn it off. You can turn it on if you want, 
but by default, you get to decide when the domain name is renewed. There is no pushy upselling either. Now, of course, they have other items to offer like email hosting and web hosting, and they're gonna let you know they offer that, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's no upsell screen you have to get through with a bunch of deception just to purchase a domain name. And I really love that. Now they do not offer 24 seven support. However, their support team is pretty good. I've had nothing but great experiences with their live chat. So they're gonna get you taken care of if you need help with anything. So overall, if you're looking for a great company with low prices and a clean panel and app to buy a domain name at, I would definitely consider Dynadot. So now let's talk about the cheapest option on this list, and that is Porkbun. So Porkbun is an up and coming domain registrar that really intrigues me. Their prices are wicked low. Like they charge $8.56 a year for a .com domain with free Whois protection. The best way to describe Porkbun is their focus is all on price. And there's nothing wrong with that. They look like a solid registrar, but it's relatively a no frills experience. There's no app, the panel is a little bit cluttered and kind of confusing, and they don't have 24 seven customer service, and their hours are kind of annoying, like they close at 5 p.m. Pacific, which is a little bit of an annoyance, especially if you do a lot of your work at night. However, I am sure that they would take care of you when they are open and help you out if you need something. If you're looking for the cheapest place to buy a domain name, this is the site for you. I'm sure you're gonna have a decent experience. Now let's talk about Hover. I've heard a lot about Hover recently, and they are really making some noise in the domain industry. But I wasn't really able to figure out why. Their prices are kind of expensive, not terrible. They charge, I think, $13 a year for a domain name. They do have free Whois protection, and there's no pushy upselling. It's a relatively smooth experience to purchase a domain name from Hover. There's no app, and auto renew is forced and on by default, which you guys know how I feel about that. I am not a fan of that. And overall, I don't think you're gonna have a terrible experience with Hover. It's not like GoDaddy, where I would tell you stay away from it at all costs but there's nothing really great about Hover. They don't really have an advantage, if you know what I mean. Porkbun has the advantage of price, and Dynadot has the advantage of an overall very smooth experience with very low prices. Hover is just kinda expensive with no reason to really go with them. All right, now let's talk about Namecheap. Now Namecheap is where I personally buy all of my domain names and I've been with them for several years. I love Namecheap because they have 24 seven customer service via the live chat, which is good. They've always taken care of me. However, sometimes they can be really, really slow. I will put that out there. But to me, Namecheap is kind of a one-stop shop for all of my needs. I have email hosting with Namecheap. They have a great email hosting service for $10 a year, super reasonable, really the lowest price I can find, and rock solid reliable. It does everything I need it to do. So I buy my domain names there because I've always had a great experience the panel is pretty clean and simple. They have an amazing app that allows you to manage your domains at a glance and even use Apple Pay to purchase new domains, which I think is super cool. They don't have pushy upselling and they have free Whois protection, which is awesome. Now for full disclosure, Namecheap is not the cheapest option on this list. They are kind of expensive. A .com domain is around $13 a year and .co is about $26 a year. So Dynadot, Porkbun, these are all cheaper options for domain names and they're all pretty good options too. I just stick with Namecheap because I love their web hosting, their email hosting, and I've never had a problem with their domains, and I just like the experience of the app and the panel. So to me, it's worth the extra couple of bucks per year to get a very smooth experience and get the cool app and everything that Namecheap offers. They also do this thing every year where they have a super cool Black Friday sale. You can get .com domains for like 98 cents for the first year, so yeah. It's pretty cool. But moving on, let's talk about Google Domains. I got so many requests to take a look at Google Domains in my first domain registrar comparison video. So here you go, Google Domains. Should you buy a domain name there? 
Well, if you want. See, my analysis of Google domains is kind of that Google is just capitalizing on their name to sell domains. It's not a bad experience. There's basically zero upselling whatsoever, but similar to Hover, it's kind of a bland experience. A .com domain is $12 per year, Whois protection is free, and the panel is okay. Uh, it's got Google's graphic style, but I still feel like it could be a little bit simpler. It's a little bit cluttered for my desire, and there is no app available. Google does have 24 seven support, and they give you the option of either phone or chat, which I really like. A lot of these companies are phone only or chat only, and not everyone loves phone support, not everyone loves chat support. So giving you the option in addition to making it 24 seven is pretty cool. So overall, if you trust Google and you'd like to have them hold your domain name for you, I think this is a solid option. However, there was nothing that stood out to me that makes it extremely appealing, but it seems like Google has a sound mind with their business practices and not trying to sell you stuff you don't need. So I gotta say that I had a pretty good experience with Google domains. And lastly, let's talk about domain.com. This is another new one to this list because it seems like domain.com is very popular. They're one of those companies that if you search where to buy a domain or best place to buy a domain, they're gonna come up in Google and in most of the lists on where you should buy a domain name. So I figured I should give them a shot. And I have to say, this is another one on this list that I would say stay away from at all costs. Their prices are okay, but they charge $8.99 per year for who is protection, which you know I hate, and there is major upselling just like GoDaddy. They are very deceptive about things. When you try to decline the Whois protection, which is on by default, they use something called a dark pattern, which is a method in interfaces where you try and trick the user into clicking a certain thing. As you can tell by this screenshot, your instinct as a user is to click the, oh no, keep Whois protection on thing when you're really trying to get rid of it. Sites that use dark patterns just really, really get on my nerves. And every site will do it to an extent, but these guys are clearly abusing the concept of a dark pattern in their favor to try and push you to spend more money when you don't want to. And that's not cool, and that's not something I can ever respect or get behind as a consumer, and I would recommend that you guys stay away from domain.com at all cost. So in conclusion, if you're looking for my personal pick on the best place to buy a domain name, I would definitely recommend that you try out Namecheap. Their balance of customer service, decent prices, and an overall smooth experience make it my preferred place to buy a domain name, and I would definitely recommend checking it out. Now, if you are looking for the cheapest place to buy a domain name, I would definitely check out Pork Bun. It's pretty no frills, but it's going to be cheap, and I think you're going to have a good experience. If you're looking for the best up and coming registrar and one that is making a lot of noise and has even tempted me to switch to, if I'm honest, check out Dynadot. They really have a lot to offer with their app, super low prices, and high quality customer service. But really all these companies will give you a pretty decent experience as long as you stay away from GoDaddy and Domain.com. So what do you guys think? Which domain registrar did you pick? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.